Hello and welcome. My name is Christopher Glass and I serve as Chair-Elect for the Endocrine Society's Laureate Awards Committee. I would like to welcome you to the Endocrine Society's recognition of the 2021 Laureate Award recipients. Established in 1944, the Society's Laureate Awards recognize the highest achievements in the field of endocrinology, including groundbreaking research and innovations. These distinguished recipients join a prestigious list of past award recipients, all of whom have advanced scientific breakthroughs, medical practice, and human health around the world. We begin today by recognizing the Endocrine Society's most prestigious award, the Fred Conrad Koch Lifetime Achievement Award, is the Society's highest honor recognizing lifetime achievements and exceptional contributions to the field of endocrinology. This year, the Endocrine Society is pleased to recognize Dr. Philip Gordon as the 2021 recipient of the Koch Lifetime Achievement Award. Dr. Gordon is Director Emeritus of the NIDDK. During his distinguished career in clinical research over the last 50 years, he has improved the lives of people around the world through his scientific contributions, leading to enhanced diagnosis, characterization, and treatment of diabetes and other endocrine disorders. As a physician scientist, he has always been patient-focused which created the framework for his lifelong commitment to biomedical research and the translation of research to improved treatments of complex diseases. In his role as NIDDK director, he led numerous initiatives that have shaped current practice, including launching the National Diabetes Education Program. Congratulations to Dr. Philip Gordon on this significant achievement and honor, and thank you to Citator Dr. Saul Malazowski. Six years ago, when I began my endocrine fellowship, I could not have imagined how exciting and challenging this field of medicine I had chosen would be. It is remarkable what progress has been made in the field of endocrinology and what discoveries lie ahead for our current and future investigators. Discoveries in endocrinology have a ripple effect and lead to the advancement in many other fields of medicine. I am honored to be the recipient of the 2021 Fred Conrad Koch Lifetime Achievement Award. And I thank my family my most generous and encouraging colleagues and mentors I have had over these many years and the Endocrine Society for this most special award. The Gerald D. Auerbach Award for Outstanding Translational Research is presented in recognition of outstanding research that accelerates the transition of scientific discoveries into clinical applications. The 2021 recipient of the Gerald D. Auerbach Award is Dr. Teresa Woodruff, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs at Michigan State University. A past president of the Endocrine Society and the former editor-in-chief of endocrinology, Dr. Woodruff has made seminal discoveries about gonadal structure, function, and hormones, as well as female fertility and its regulation. She has dedicated her research career to improving female fertility and largely defined oncofertility, a medical field created to maximize the reproductive potential of cancer patients and survivors. As founder and director of the Oncofertility Consortium, Woodruff established a national team of oncologists, fertility specialists, social scientists, educators, and policymakers to translate her research to the clinical care of women who will lose their fertility due to cancer treatment. Thank you to Citator Dr. Kelly Mayo, and congratulations to Dr. Teresa Woodruff on this significant recognition. So honored to be awarded the Gerald D. Auerbach Laureate Award for Research that accelerates the translation of scientific discoveries into clinical applications that improve human health. Oncofertility is a medical discipline 
that was born from the urgent unmet need of young cancer patients facing life preserving but fertility threatening cancer treatments. And perhaps as important as the naming of a field is the work of the Oncofertility Consortium, which has convened the field from its origins of 20 scientists and clinicians to today's global organization that spans nearly 50 countries. But even as we've grown, we've continued to enable the essential conversations necessary to drive oncofertility research, clinical practice, and patient options forward. I want to thank the Endocrine Society for recognizing the fundamental science, translational activities, and the clinical outcomes in this area of oncofertility with the Auerbach Award. I also really want to thank my nominators for their friendship and mentorship, my students who have made the contributions of the Woodruff Lab to this discipline of science and medicine, and to my colleagues in the Endocrine Society, past presidents and leaders, whose passion for leading our field in the best interests of the patients we serve is so inspiring. Thank you all. The International Excellence in Endocrinology Award is presented to an endocrinologist who has made exceptional contributions to the field of endocrinology in geographic areas with underdeveloped resources for hormone health, research, education, clinical practice, or administration. Congratulations to Dr. Ambrish Mattel, the 2021 recipient of the International Excellence in Endocrinology Award. Dr. Mattel is an Indian endocrinologist who serves as chairman and head of endocrinology and diabetes at Max Healthcare in Socket, New Delhi. Over the past 25 years, Dr. Mattel has made pioneering contributions to the growth of endocrinology establishing and running endocrine teaching programs, developing models for high quality endocrine services, and conducting and guiding research on topics of direct relevance to India. Dr. Mattel's achievements are coupled with a rich mentoring career of more than 40 diabetes endocrine fellows who went on to establish endocrinology as a specialty of academic excellence throughout India. Again, congratulations, Dr. Mattel. Indeed, honored that the Endocrine Society has chosen me for this award. I am grateful to Professors Gaga El Haj Fulihan, John Berizikian, and Bart Clark for supporting me. I am thankful to my mentors, the late Professor MMS Ahuja in Delhi, Professor Ed Brown in Boston, and Professor Sudhakar Rao in Detroit, who have helped and guided me throughout my career. And of course, I am grateful to my colleagues who have worked with me all these years and who actually have a share in this award. For those in the formative stages of their career, especially if working in resource-constrained geographical environments, my mantra has been to choose areas of research that will have direct public health impact. This can be challenging, it can be difficult, but persistence in this area can lead to very gratifying results. Thank you. The Outstanding Clinical Investigator Award is presented to an internationally recognized clinical investigator who's contributed significantly to understanding the pathogenesis and therapy of endocrine and metabolic diseases. The recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Clinical Investigator Award is Dr. Richard Aukas, Professor of Medicine and Pharmacology at the University of Michigan and the world's foremost authority on steroid-related diseases. His pioneering science has transformed fundamental principles of steroid biosynthesis, and his clinical investigation has repeatedly changed clinical practice for androgen synthesis, androgen hypertension, and hypercortisolism. Dr. Aukas has made crucial contributions to the clinical development of abiraterone acetate for prostate cancer, and he repurposed abiraterone for treating congenital adrenal hyperplasia. He also co-authored and was instrumental in revising the Society's clinical practice guideline on CAH. Congratulations to Dr. Aukas, a skilled teacher and mentor, and thank you to Dr. Walter Miller, for submitting this citation. I am privileged to have trained under wonderful mentors, Rick Danheiser and Chris Walsh at MIT, Doug Covey and the late Phil Majerus at Washington University, 
Suzanne Fuqua, now at Baylor, and of course, Walt Miller at UCSF. I thank my mom and dad, my brother Alex, and my family for their love and support throughout my career. I am blessed to have had dedicated people in my research group and wonderful colleagues at UT Southwestern and Michigan. Finally, I thank our patients who selflessly partner with us to develop better treatments for their conditions. The Clinical Investigator Award means so much to me because it is in some sense a synthesis of the tripartite mission of the Endocrine Society. We could not celebrate accomplishments in clinical investigation without our basic scientists making fundamental discoveries on the one side, our clinical endocrinologists incorporating this new knowledge into practice on the other side, and the clinical investigators in the middle collaborating to bring the process to fruition. So for a moment, I want all of you to take credit for your contribution to this award and to the advances that we have made as an endocrine community, which will endure long after we are all retired. Thank you, stay well, and I hope to see you in person next year. The Outstanding Educator Award is presented in recognition of exceptional achievement as an educator in the discipline of endocrinology and metabolism. The recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Educator Award is Dr. Ann Danoff, who recently retired from serving as Chief of Medicine at the Corporal Mitchell J. Presents Veterans Administration Hospital and Vice Chair of Medicine at the Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. In her previous role as Chief of the Division of Endocrinology and Endocrine Fellowship Program Director at NYU School of Medicine, Dr. Danhoff developed a robust and diverse curriculum that motivated countless students. Dr. Danhoff has been very active in educational activities at the Endocrine Society, including serving as Chair of Trainee Day, Chair of the Endocrine Board Review Course, and most recently, Physician and Practice Chair of the Annual Meeting Steering Committee, where she organized over 100 sessions. Congratulations to Dr. Ann Danhoff, who exemplifies all that is wonderful about teaching. I have been charged with the impossible task of limiting my comments to one minute or less. So with regret, I am unable to name individually many of the teachers to whom I owe a huge debt of gratitude. I would be remiss in this context if I didn't call out a few people by name. I'd like to thank Dr. Ann Taylor and Women in Endocrinology for nominating me, Dr. Carolyn Becker for planting the seeds for the nomination, and the Laureate Award Committee for selecting me for this award. I'd also like to thank the trainees with whom I've interacted over the years. You have made my life so interesting and so enjoyable. I hope I've been able to impart to you the importance not just of excellence in mastery of the content area of endocrine, but also adherence to the highest core values of our profession and to the oath that we took upon graduation from medical school. Again, my deepest thanks for this award. It means so very much to me. I wish you all well. Take care and stay safe. The Outstanding Innovation Award recognizes endocrinologists who have demonstrated innovation and entrepreneurship to further endocrine research or practice in support of the field of endocrinology, patients, and society at large. The 2021 Outstanding Innovation Award is presented, is presented to Dr. Richard Ross, Professor of Endocrinology at the University of Sheffield in the United Kingdom. His research on optimizing endocrine replacement therapy has focused on replacement of cortisol in patients with adrenal insufficiency and congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Professor Ross founded the pharmaceutical company Diurnal to develop Carnicord, a novel steroid for treating patients with CAH. He also led the treatment of adrenal insufficiency in neonates consortium to better understand adrenal insufficiency in pediatric patients and developed a new pediatric hydrocortisone formulation, Infocord. Professor Ross is, is one of only a few clinical scientists who has founded an endocrine pharmaceutical company that has not only developed new therapies, but also commercialized those therapies for patients. Congratulations to Professor Ross, an exceptional clinician scientist. 
I am absolutely delighted and deeply honoured to receive this award. The Endocrine Society has been my spiritual scientific home over throughout my career. I'd particularly like to thank my citators, John Kopchick and Paul Stewart, who have been a massive support to me over the years. John is an incredibly generous man, both as a scientific collaborator and as a friend. And I know many of you will have attended his great late night classes. I would also like to thank the talented clinical development team at Diurnal, who have taken our ideas from bench to bedside. And I'd particularly like to thank the CEO, Martin Whitaker, who at heart is an academic innovator, is a great friend and has the vision to take quality medicines to patients. The Outstanding Leadership in Endocrinology Award recognizes outstanding leadership in fundamental or clinical endocrinology. The 2021 recipient of the Outstanding Leadership in Endocrinology Award is Professor Helena Teague, who brings long-standing, passionate commitment and visionary leadership to endocrinology. Her current roles span endocrinology practice, research, healthcare, education, government, and not-for-profit sectors. Professor Teed holds leadership roles across healthcare, research, and policy in Australia, including serving as the director of Monash Center for Health Research Implementation at the School of Public Health, as co-director of Monash University's Monash Institute of Medical Engineering, uh, practicing as an endocrinologist at Monash Health, and serving as the executive director of Monash Partners Academic Health Sciences Center. Throughout her 20-year academic career focused on women's health, Professor Teed has taught over 35 PhD students and trained over 40 endocrinologists. She is a strong advocate and role model for advancing women in health care and runs women's leadership programs for clinicians and early career researchers. Congratulations once again to Professor Helena Teed. I'd like to genuinely thank the Endocrine Society for this Laureate Award in Leadership. Throughout my career, my family has made an invaluable contribution, including my husband and my two daughters, to my career, as have my mentors, my team at Monash University in Australia, and my collaborators around the world. I'd like to specifically thank Associate Professor Amanda Vincent for her nomination and Professor Rick Grow and Gail Rusbridger for their support. A few tips for those early in their career from a leadership point of view. Be brave. The biggest jump you take will have the biggest impact. Make sure you get professional development. Leadership skills are not always innate and training in those areas can be invaluable. And remember, as you set off on your course in any large initiative, engaging with the community and the frontline health professionals who will be the deliverers and beneficiaries of the healthcare and the research that we are developing is vitally important. Thank you again for the privilege of this leadership award and thank you to the Endocrine Society. The Outstanding Mentor Award recognizes a career committed to mentoring, having a significant and positive impact on mentees' education and career. The recipient of the Endocrine Society's 2021 Outstanding Mentor Award is Dr. James Gavin, a clinical professor of medicine at Emory University School of Medicine and Indiana University School of Medicine. He is also CEO and Chief Medical Officer of Healing Our Village. Dr. Gavin has made unparalleled contributions to endocrinology through his pioneering research in diabetes, his leadership, his advocacy, and most notably, his dedication to advancing the careers of students, trainees, and physician scientists through mentorship. Dr. Gavin has served as direct mentor to more than 50 early stage physician scientists and has touched the careers of countless others through his leadership of both the Howard Hughes Medical Institute NIH Medical Research Scholars Program and during his 35-year involvement with the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, Harold Amos Medical Faculty Development Program, where he contributed to the career development of over 300 minority physician scientists. Congratulations, Dr. Gavin. This is such a special celebration because it allows me to say thank you to those who championed my nomination. Special thanks to Drs. Camille Poe and Sharita Golden. My gratitude to them is deep because 
Receiving this honor allows me to repay a major debt that I bear. Dr. Beverly Kay said in her book, Up Is Not The Only Way, that behind every successful person, there is one elementary truth. Somewhere, somehow, someone cared about their growth and development. This person was their mentor. I have said for years, one may be blessed to have more than one such mentor as have I. For their belief in me and support of me, I incurred a debt, a debt to extend that same measure of support and caring to others when given the opportunity. My list of mentors is populated by the likes of Ian French of Livingstone College, Drs. Leo Reichert of Emory, Dr. Jesse Roth and Phil Gordon. I am honored that Camille, Sharita, Joshua, and so many brilliant and talented others have given me the opportunity to provide some measure of caring and guidance in the pursuit of success in their impressive careers. Their success, their impact, and their assumption of mentorship roles have provided me the opportunity to discharge a portion of the debt to mentors that I owe. So I accept this award with a grateful heart and with confidence that payment will continue. Okay, uh, now we come to the Outstanding Public Service Award established in 2013. This is presented to an individual who best demonstrates dedication to public awareness or public service in support of the field of endocrinology and the patients who suffer from endocrine disorders. This year's Outstanding Public Service Award recipient is Dr. Ann Peters, Professor of Medicine at Keck School of Medicine at USC and Director of the U. SC Clinical Diabetes Programs in Los Angeles. Dr. Peters is recognized for her dedicated service to serving underprivileged populations through both her professional activities as a physician, as well as through her writings, educational activities, and as a volunteer. Dr. Peters has consistently sought to raise up all those around her, irrespective of their socioeconomic status, through the education and the training of minority and disadvantaged students, to devoting time to providing healthcare and specialized clinics, devoted to treatment of at-risk marginal populations, and volunteering in family medicine clinics, and for the big brothers, big sisters in the community. Dr. Peters has bravely led much of the challenge to sexism in medicine, serving as a role model for all women who face barriers in the workplace. Congratulations, Dr. Ann Peters. First, I want to thank the Endocrine Society for giving me this award. The Endocrine Society has always supported my interests, and I particularly appreciate all the advocacy work the Society is doing for our patients. Secondly, I am incredibly appreciative of Dr. Daniel Drucker for proposing me for this award. Most of you probably know him as an expert on incretin hormones, but he is much more than that. When he heard my story of sexual harassment, as well as the work I've done in underserved communities, he said, people like you are rarely recognized for their contributions, which is why I'm going to nominate you for an Endocrine Society Award. And he came through. But even more importantly, when he heard we were having a symposia on physicians and sexual harassment, he attended the session and was one of the few men in the audience. What he taught me is how important it is for all of us to go out of our way to remember to give our colleagues the recognition and support they deserve. It means the world to me. Thank you. Our next award, the Outstanding Scholarly Physician Award, is presented in recognition of outstanding contributions to the practice of clinical endocrinology in academic settings. The recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Scholarly Physician Award is Dr. Guillermo Umbieras, Professor of Medicine at Emory University School of Medicine and a renowned expert in the management of diabetes mellitus in the hospital setting. Dr. Umbieras' work has shaped the approach to managing hyperglycemia in non-critically ill hospitalized patients, and he was the first to note that hyperglycemia in hospitalized patients with and without a history of diabetes represents a marker of poor clinical outcome and mortality. 
His research evaluating, evaluating therapeutic approaches for hyperglycemia in the hospital setting established the superiority of the basal bolus insulin regimen over the longstanding approach of the sliding insulin scale for managing patients with type 2 diabetes hospitalized with a non-critical illness. Countless medical students, residents, and fellows have benefited from Dr. Lapierre's mentorship, knowledge, energy, and enthusiasm. Thank you to Citator, Dr. Carlos Arguello, and congratulations, Dr. Guillermo Pieras, who epitomizes the attributes of a physician scholar through his research, teaching, and lifelong learning. I would like to thank the Endocrine Society and the nominating committee for choosing me to receive this year Outstanding Scholarly Physician Award. I'm proud and honored to accept this recognition. I received this award on behalf of our clinical and research staff at Emory University, who has supported me during the past 40 years. I have dedicated my professional career aiming to improve the life of patients with endocrine disorder, most of them underrepresented minorities at Grady Hospital, our community hospital in Atlanta. Teaching has been my passion. Being involved with medical students, residents, and endocrinology fellows has served as a great source of inspiration and satisfaction. In addition, I have been privileged to run a large clinical research program in minority populations and in improving the care of hospitalized patients with diabetes. Conducting clinical research has been challenging, but at the same time has given me the highest level of satisfaction in guiding our clinical community to improve the care of patients with diabetes. Again, thank you, Endocrine Society, for this award. The Richard E. Weitzman Outstanding Early Career Investigator Award is presented annually to an exceptionally promising young clinical or basic investigator under the age of 50, based on contributions and achievements of the recipient's body of work. The 2021 recipient of the Richard E. Weitzman Award is Dr. Alexander Kaufman, an internationally recognized leader in researching the regulation of the neuroendocrine reproductive axis in development and adulthood, as well as the hormonal and neural mechanisms underlying sex differences in puberty and reproductive physiology. Dr. Kaufman, professor of reproductive medicine at the University of California, San Diego, has demonstrated a productive and successful track record of reproductive neuroendocrinology research with more than 68 peer-reviewed publications, including 48 articles since joining the faculty in 2009. Congratulations, Dr. Kaufman. Hi, everybody. Uh, wow, thank you for this amazing award. I'm uh, quite shocked, to be honest, and humbled and Certainly very appreciative of the recognition. So thank you very much, Endocrine Society. And also thank you, Pam Mellon, for the nomination and your continued mentorship while at UCSD. I'd like to thank my prior uh, mentors, Irv Zucker, Emily Rissman, and Robert Steiner for their wonderful guidance and support over the years. And most importantly, I'd like to thank the Kaufman Lab members, past and present, for all their hard work and efforts in the lab. Uh, it's been a really fun experience running the lab and working with everybody, and you've done an amazing job. Uh, certainly this is a group award in my opinion, and I share this award with each and every one of you. Thank you very much. And finally, to my friends at home, uh, I wish I could see you in person. And until then, please stay safe and we'll celebrate uh, sooner than later, I hope. Thank you once again. The Sydney H. Ingbar Distinguished Service Award recognizes distinguished service to the endocrine society and the field of endocrinology. This year, we are fortunate to recognize two members for their contributions to basic science. The first recipient of the 2021 Sydney H. Ingvar Award is Dr. Sally Camper, a professor of internal medicine and the Marjorie Shaw Distinguished University Professor of Human Genetics at the University of Michigan Medical School. She is an exceptional basic scientist who has successfully applied innovative genetic technologies to understanding the pituitary gland. Dr. Camper has served on numerous committees at the Endocrine Society since she became a member, including on the Molecular Endocrinology Editorial Board, the Basic Science Task Force, the annual meeting 
Steering Committee, the Scientific Statements Task Force, the Scientific and Educational Program Support Committee, uh, the Nominating Committee, and the Advisory Board. Over the last 10 years, Camper has mentored and taught several U.S. and international trainees in Brazil, Argentina, and France. Congratulations to Dr. Sally Camper for her commitment to the Energy Society. Thank you very much. It's quite an honor to receive this award for service to the Endocrine Society. I'd also like to thank Luciani Carvalho, who nominated me for this award. Um, I met her in an Endocrine Society meeting many, many years ago, and she was a postdoctoral fellow in my lab and then um, is now a faculty member at University of Sao Paulo in Brazil, and we still collaborate. I really enjoyed my service on the annual meeting steering committee for the Endocrine Society and also through uh, many workshops that I participated in for trainees during the annual meeting. I'd encourage everybody to volunteer to serve on an Endocrine Society committee. You'll meet some interesting people and perhaps make some lifelong friends. Again, thank you very much for this award. The second award recipient of the 2021 Sydney H. Ingvar Award is Dr. Ursula Kaiser, Senior Physician at Brigham and Women's Hospital and a Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Dr. Kaiser has been involved in service to the Anderson Society continuously since 1997 as a member or chair on the Student Affairs Committee, the Publications Committee, the Laureate Awards Committee, the Annual Meeting Steering Committee, the Research Affairs Committee, and the Committee on Governance Affairs. She has also served on two endo meeting task forces, the Laureate Awards Review Task Force and the Governance Task Force. In her former role as Vice President of Basic Science, she worked tirelessly to improve services for the basic science members of the Endocrine Society. She was a member of the editorial board and an associate editor of endocrinology and has been very active in women in endocrinology. Most recently, Dr. Kaiser was elected as the 2022-2023 President of the Endocrine Society. Congratulations to Dr. Ursula Kaiser on your remarkable record of service to the Energy Society. It's my honor to have been selected as the recipient of the 2021 Sydney Ingvar Laureate Award. The Endocrine Society has served as my primary professional home for my entire career. This award is particularly meaningful to me as my nomination was submitted by Dr. Jingjing Kip on behalf of Women in Endocrinology, another society that's been tremendously impactful on my career. Thank you, Jingjing, and my many friends from WE. Both the Endocrine Society and Women in Endocrinology have afforded me many opportunities to present and publish my research, learn about pioneering discoveries, interact with expert scientists and clinicians from around the world, and forge lifelong friendships. If I can give any advice to early career scientists and clinicians, it would be to get involved. You'll find it to be a very rewarding experience. I'd like to thank my mentors, particularly Dr. William Chin, my research mentor, as well as my career mentors, Drs. Gordon William and Reed Larson, for their support. Science is a team sport, and I've enjoyed nothing more than forging collaborations across the U.S. and internationally, most notably with my long-term collaborator and friend, Dr. Anna Claudia Latronico. I can't overstate my appreciation of my trainees in my lab over the years who've each brought unique expertise and perspectives to my research group and who continue to inspire me. I need to give a special thanks to Dr. Rona Carroll for her contributions to my research program and longstanding commitment and friendship. Lastly, I'd be remiss if I did not express my immense gratitude to my family, my husband, Dr. Mark Goldberg, and my two sons, Matthew and Peter, for their support and patience over the years. The Vergersky Outstanding Clinical Practitioner Award recognizes extraordinary contributions by a practicing, practicing endocrinologist to the endocrine and or medical community. The recipient of the 2021 Vergersky Outstanding Clinical Practitioner Award is Dr. Frances Hayes from Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, where she currently serves as the Associate Clinic Chief of Endocrinology. Dr. Hayes has brought best practices and efficiency to the division, always with an eye to the best patient experience. In the past few years, she's been instrumental in establishing a number of specialty clinics dedicated to providing 
optimal multidisciplinary care for patients with Turner syndrome, Kleinfelter syndrome, and the transgender population. These clinics not only provide state-of-the-art multidisciplinary clinical care, but by involving colleagues in pediatric endocrinology, help to ensure a seamless transition for adolescents as they transfer care to adult providers. Congratulations again to Dr. Francis Hayes, who combines the best of rigorous and sensitive personal patient care with a clear sense of where clinical endocrinology is going and how to get there. I would like to thank Dr. Vaversky for establishing this award, as well as my nominators, Hank Cronenberg and Bill Crowley. For most of us, success in any given field requires a modicum of talent that can be nurtured in the appropriate environment. I consider myself very fortunate to have had two extraordinary mentors who shaped my career, Joe McKenna at the start of my training in Dublin and Bill Crowley after I moved to Boston. Joe and Bill instilled in me a commitment to excellence and taught me the importance of applying the same intellectual rigor to clinical medicine as to research. I would also like to thank my husband, Dennis, and sons, Jack and Gavin, for their support and for their patience on the many occasions that dinner was late as I tried to clear my epic in-basket. Thank you. Our final award, the Roy O. Grief Award for Outstanding Research, recognizes meritorious contributions to research in the field of endocrinology. The recipient of the 2021 Roy O. Grief Award is Dr. Takashi Katawaki, professor and chairman of the Department of Diabetes and Metabolic Diseases in the Graduate School of Medicine at the University of Tokyo in Japan. Professor Katawaki discovered the adip adiponectin receptor and its function to understand the molecular basis of type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome. He found that adiponectin enhances insulin sensitivity and possesses anti-diabetic actions. And he's also the first to succeed in developing a concept for an oral adiponectin receptor drug, adiporon. Orally administered adiporon activates the same signaling pathway as caloric restriction in physical exercise, thereby improving obesity-related diseases like type 2 diabetes. Dr. Katawaki's accomplishments have not only enabled essential understanding of the molecular mechanisms of adiponectin action, but have reinvigorated adiponectin-based drug development programs for type 2 diabetes. Congratulations to Dr. Katawaki on this well-deserved recognition. Hi, I am Takashi Katawaki. I'm very much happy and honored to be awarded Royal Grief Award for Outstanding Research by the Endocrine Society. I am extremely grateful to Professor Dan Draka to nominate me for this prestigious award. I owe quite a lot to my mentor, to my colleagues, to my secretary, and to my family. Endocrine research is quite rewarding since it will reveal truths and secrets of health and disease after a certain amount of hard work, which you will enjoy with a sense of accomplishment. Thank you so much. This concludes the presentation of our 2021 Laureate Awards. Congratulations to all our award recipients, and thank you again to all our citators for recognizing the significant accomplishments of your colleagues from around the world. Just a reminder, nominations for the Endocrine Society's Laureate Awards are accepted year-round. For more information, please contact laureate at, at endocrine.org. Thank you.